Welcome back to Crazy Dave's Crew. I'm Laura and today I want to talk about our crazy summer. If you hadn't noticed, we've been a little absent from our regular videos. It hasn't been a Thursday thread in quite a while. And things have just been a little nutty. And there's Max. The first thing that happened is our garden went crazy and I thought I was prepared. Well, I wasn't. And then so our garden went a little crazy and I thought I was prepared, but I really wasn't. And then a friend of ours found herself in a large possession of apples and oranges and grapes and tomatoes. really June and of course those were going to go bad if something wasn't done with them and so we are shredding and vacuum sealing and freezing and canning our little hearts out and then I started not feeling so good and I'll tell you summer colds are awful Yeah, no, it wasn't a summer cold. Yes, I am one of the COVID numbers that you see when they talk about the cases. Um, didn't go to the hospital. Didn't go to the emergency room. Almost did. My husband was ready a few times. Uh, the breathing with my MG, that's uh, the muscles and things. Uh, all of that plays together. So we had a few rough days and then we had college and both of my boys are taking art and they're very specific in their requests. Well, I wasn't feeling well. My husband went out one evening with the uh, boys. Oh yeah, he, he stayed home with me and where he'd been exposed, his his uh, his boss told him to stay home so he got his computer set it up here at the house so it was kind of nice we had him home for almost a month and that was great and I miss him today is day three of zero other humans in my house and I waffle between liking it and not liking it but he went out to three different stores and got almost all of the boys art supplies and it's just been one thing after another. But yay, all three of the kids got an extra scholarship. And they're working in like the media center to, you know, they have to work so many hours. And one of my boys is just loving it. So that's, I'm so happy. But I'm worrying about them. We've got this. And then... I'm going to take you to our pantry. David built some shelves. Not on the clock. He did it on his own time. And whenever we go out, we look for cans, jars. Yes, there's a shortage. And if there is, I think I'm, I have to be guilty that when I see them, I try to buy, you know, three, four. can't find lids and rings in the stores you know you can't find uh, sometimes you can't find pectin uh, canning supplies are limited where I'm at I think I'm starting to see them come back but one of my local grocery stores um, they have little six packs of them of, of wide mouth quart jars for ten dollars and I'm going wait a minute I normally buy the 12 pack wide mouth quart jars for about you know 10 11 dollars 
yeah no sorry y'all not doing it but let's go take a look at the pantry oh yeah we redid my baking goods my powders my flours my sugars which looks absolutely wonderful we've put them in uh, half gallon quart jars yeah did you know they make half gallon quart jars they do they're wonderful so we've been putting our, our sugars and flours and cornmeal mixes and bisquick and waffle mixes uh, different flours whole wheat flour you know different things I discovered tapioca flour I love it but not as a flour it's more as a starch in place of cornstarch but let's go take a look at that pantry it's a little dark in here but there is some red grape juice that my husband made in half gallon jars and there's some green grape juice absolutely delicious absolutely delicious and you can see uh, I found a great number of jars the other day and we did leave some I want y'all to know we did and I've got green grape jelly and red grape jelly apple pie filling I have some strawberry butter apple pie jam and then we've got applesauce and how about some tropical butter this was made with bananas, pineapple, and some maraschino cherries. We have some carrots and some green beans. We have some spaghetti sauce. What is this up here? Oh. I'd made some bean soup so we've got uh, different beans chicken carrots onions tomato juice oh yeah and I also made my own V8 juice and we've got orange juice and apple juice more grape juice And this is my upstairs pantry. I have my two canners, pressure canner and water bather. Some snacks. Don't you love the way the can the jars look? Rice and sugars and all-purpose flour and oatmeal. Honey. I even I hate all those little bags. So anything that was in a bag, we tried to put into a jar. And then, the stray cat that has seems to have stayed at our house decided to have babies. It's her third litter. And we heard a noise one night. You can see these guys are wanting to go. We heard a weird noise, and we had a raccoon on our deck. And two of the kittens had been killed by the raccoon and David took care of it and he was even telling me don't look don't look hey doc come back here this is flour because he looks like a little skunk and so we named him flour after the skunk in Bambi and then the other one is doc because you know doctor who always wants to be a ginger and he is a ginger So we brought them in. They were, I think, about seven weeks. They could eat the soft canned food. So we brought them in. And originally the idea was that when they were big enough, we would put them outside. But we wanted them to be strong and fast. Be able to take the stairs. Be able to run away from predators. Come here, you. Come on. 
Come say hi. Say hi. Look at you. Look at you. They are sweet. And honestly, at this point, I'm not sure if we're going to put them back down or not. Um, yeah. Of course, I'm thinking I ought to call one glut and the other one gut be, uh, because they are their glut and guts. And I don't normally let animals get up here, but today is a special day. This is, is my sewing table. So I don't like my cats up here. Um, meow, yeah. All right. Tell you what, let me go put you at the stairs so you can go back upstairs. Of course, I will be glad when they do finally get a little bit bigger so I can get rid of the litter box and the food and the water in the upstairs. You need to get down. Well, the good news is I have started back to sewing. I think I'd forgotten how much I enjoy it. And what I'm trying to do is you know, when my husband leaves for work, the kids leave for school, that's my time to come down and do some sewing. And I'm going to sew quilts, play with fabric, whatever, until my husband calls on his break. Yes, we're one of those weird couples that when I was working, I would call him on my breaks. He's working. He calls me on his breaks. I really miss him being home. Uh, because then during his breaks, I was there with him. And during lunch, you know, he'd help me with doing things around the house. Uh, different things. I, I could fix him. You know, he had real meals. <laughs> He gets himself off to work, the three kids get themselves off to school, and then I want to do some sewing, and then just try to get back into a routine of doing things. So fingers crossed that we're going to get back to a more regular schedule, and just know, oh, and I forgot to tell you this, my daughter actually missed the first two weeks of school because she had COVID. So just as I'm getting over it, she gets tested and has got it. Now, when we did the dates, the boys were okay to go back to school because it had been within the 10-day time frame that the, that the school got uh, of when she first started showing symptoms. Uh, but yeah, it's been fun. She got severely dehydrated. She did go to the emergency room and got two bags of fluids. And then after that, she was just great. Um, so you can see we've had the garden, all the fresh produce. So we've had the garden and then all the fresh produce that was gifted to us. And we did stuff with it so it wouldn't go bad. And I think that's why our friend gave it to us. She knew we, we would do something with it. And then I had COVID, she had COVID, college, going back to work, the kittens, which in the beginning they, Max, go on, don't talk back, go on. You're not allowed up here. So, yeah, it's it's been fun, and it's been tough to get back. Uh, uh, the first day I was feeling good, I, I did some, I don't remember what I did, and then I was out for the rest of the day. And the next day, I think I did a couple of things, and then I was out for the rest of the day, or I took a nap in between. So it's been slow going getting back. But I have started sewing, back sewing again. I'm playing with all my hexagons. So hopefully we will have a Thursday Threads for you soon. And mm, Max, down. No, down. Yeah, this video is not going the way I thought it would. Yay. 
typical. It's the way it goes for us. In a nutshell, Crazy Dave's crew has had a crazy July and August. But happy birthday to my daughter. She just turned 20. And it's amazing for me to think that 13 years ago, I was told she wouldn't come home from the hospital. She was six years old in, uh, that spring, and she went into a coma, and I was told she, I needed to think about final arrangements. So I'm remembering her seventh birthday and how wonderful that was because she fought back, she beat the odds, and now she's 20 years old. So again, it's always that roller coaster of emotions. And then we've had a very dear cousin pass away from uh, COVID slash pneumonia. And we've had his, his mother just pass away. She had a, a hemorrhagic stroke. It's just been a crazy summer. None of that is an excuse except for me being down and you know, so I tell you, COVID really knocked me on my backside. I was pfft, done. Um, I said, it's just been crazy. So I said, none of that is really an excuse, but I wanted to give you a reason why all of this. And of course, we're going to have to work triply hard to get everything caught up. The I am so behind in my apothecary herbalism studies and in making things in which I need to make something I need to find something for my dry hands uh, they just you can hear them it's like sandpaper um, do some woodworking I, I bought these monthly kits and I have suspended them because I'm so behind I, I want to learn how to do that and then some extra sewing and I've got my my block a month that I'm wickedly behind on now so it's just a lot of things I'm feeling like I, I got to do, got to do. But we're going to take it slow, one thing at a time. First step is for me to be able to sew during my time frame, make a video or two. Got planning on having lots of Try It Tuesdays for you to watch. And I would even like to challenge my kids to start doing some cooking. So that ought to be fun. Or funny. So wish me luck on that. Meanwhile, I think I need to get busy. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm, I'm downstairs and I can hear cats running back and forth on the, the hallway upstairs. Probably need to go and check and see what they're doing. I hope your summer has been calmer than mine. A lot calmer than mine. But if it hasn't been, just know, hey, we can get through this. Remember, we don't rock, we roll. Ugh, Max. We don't rock, we roll. If you've ever watched Heartbreak Ridge with Clint Eastwood, we're Marines. We overcome, we improvise, we adapt. And I've never been good on turning on a dime, but I think I'm getting better. Anyway, whatever life throws at you, you can handle it. One day at a time, one breath at a time. And then just keep going. I have forgotten how much I loved this, so I'm going to get busy. And I will see you next time right here on Crazy Dave's Crew. Oh, by the way, you need to check out DIY Dave and Company. They're bad. I want to go ahead and tell you, they're awful. 
there just might be some videos of some canning and dehydrating and different things going on. And if you haven't had grape butter, it's really good. You should try it. Till next time, have a wonderful day, and I will see you right here on Crazy Age Crew. Thanks for watching. Alright, I'm gonna kill some cats. Camera off first though, I don't want that on camera. <laughs>